this time, would you please stand, remove your caps for the presentation of the colors presented by Cadets Sergeants Tyler Sears and Kevin Arson. Post the colors. Forward. seats.
Good evening. Buenas noches. Soy Lupita Cabral y les voy a presentar el programa hoy. I'm Lupita Cabral and I'm the College of Career Counselor and I will be hosting your program tonight. And I want to start off with welcoming our principal, Mr. Armenta, who has a few words for you. Good evening, buenas noches, salam alaikum. Uh, los Ingenieros, I just want to give the band a round of applause. Thank you very much. Great job. Also, also to our JROTC cadets, thank you very much for taking the time to be here this evening. Give them a round of applause. As, as we enter this evening, and, and the culmination is actually going to be next Thursday, but parents, I, I stressed to the students this afternoon when I spoke to them that this is really about your accomplishments as parents. These are your students, these are your children, and they are our future. And I'm very excited to present them to you tonight and what we've accomplished here. And I want to thank our teachers who are in the crowd. Give them a round of applause. Thank you for giving that effort for those students to let them know that they really matter. I want to thank our counseling department that's here tonight, Ms. Jeffrey, Ms. Sosi, Rick Valdez, and another person that's been helping us out is Ms. Valencia. Uh, Gabby, if you can give them a round of applause. Also someone who's behind the scenes that we don't necessarily see most of the time. I know that she's hearing us today and that's uh, Isabel, we call her Isabel. So Isabel, thank you very much for taking care of our kids today. Uh, your talents are really appreciated. So I want to give you a round of applause as well. And to just to bring the idea of this senior memories, it's really to say thank you for the memories that you have given me seniors. Um, in the time as your principal for the four years that you've been here. Um, I cherish those moments with you um, as I yell at you in the morning to get to class or say good morning to you or even if you've had lunch with me outside. I really am going to miss all of you. Those of you on the stage, um, thank you for bringing the money to Choya because uh, that's really what it's about. Uh, representatives, thank you for bringing that money to Choya. Um, I want to give you a round of applause as well. remarks will be to this. Students, please remember it's not how you start, it's how you end. And remember that the start is here at Choya, and you will only determine what that end will be. Charger Blue. But make sure you start off strong because it's hard to catch up, right? Yeah, okay. So now we're going to have um, your peers address you, your uh, classmates, and give you some great words of advice and maybe make you cry a little. Um, I want to welcome Ms. Armida Perez, your senior class president. family, friends, staff, faculty, and of course, the class of 2017. Now, before I begin my speech, for those of you that already know me, you're probably thinking, well, can Armila Perez actually go up there and talk for a few minutes without slipping out a few curse words? Well, that's yet to be determined. I'm kidding. I would like to start off by welcoming each and every one of you for coming here tonight and continuing to support the senior class. I think I speak for everybody here when I say that I can't wait for this week to be over. All we have done up to now has led to the last few days of our high school career and I couldn't be more thankful for all that this school has allowed me to achieve in preparation for my future. Many people have told me that high school goes by fast and they were right. These past four years went by in a flash. 
It seems like only yesterday we had arrived as naive and obnoxious freshmen, and now here we are, now only as the slightest naive and only more obnoxious seniors, ready to begin the rest of our lives. I spent the past four years not only as a varsity athlete and a member of student council, but as a president of our class. And so it goes without saying that being able to see all that we've accomplished when it's mattered the most has brought forth an undeniable sense of pride. Even though just the thought of running another blood drive prompts premature hair loss, I like to think that Choya High School has made a considerable difference in not only our lives, but the lives of those in true need. And for those, every charitable event and every fundraiser, there's been a purpose in our action. We've spent this time preparing to go out into the world and make change where change is due. So be proud, class of 2017. Your time is almost here. <laughs> Graduates, you are all destined for greatness. Each and every one of you has the potential to change the world. You have all grown into the best versions of yourself who will make a massive footprint on this earth. Tables turn, bridges burn, you live and learn, and oftentimes it's the journey that teaches you a lot about your destinations. Entering high school, I remember struggling a lot. My mother was very ill, and I remember her needing constant care. I also lost a close family member in the month coming to freshman year, and it broke my heart to pieces. There's not a day that goes by where I do not think of her. I know many of you have experienced loss in your own way, but I will tell you something I learned on my own. Grief never goes away. Everyone knows that. But I had two options. I could let sadness take over me and let it interfere with my life, or I can get up and change my life around and make that one person proud. These past few years, I have dedicated my time to multiple sports where I was able to create friendships that will last a lifetime. I would like to thank one person in particular, my coach and mentor, Vanessa Arandulis, who constantly pushes me to be a better person and helped me achieve my goal of playing ball at the collegiate level. While I had my hands full of being an athlete, there is nothing I will miss more about high school than being a part of student council, of course. It took too many years of waking up way too early and going home way too late to now add a line to our college resumes. It's the little moments I'll cherish the most, like staying up past two in the morning and cleaning up after homecoming, or being in debt with para we would all pitch in for tortillas and beans to make our annual burrito sales or other mundane tasks. While he may not be here today, it wasn't for his lack of trying because we all know, had it been up to Parra, he would have been the first one here. And it's a shame because he should be present to hear the gratitude and appreci appreciation not only myself, but others have for him. Without Para constantly guiding us, there is no telling how our events would have turned out. We are all going to leave high school with not only countless memories, but also knowing that our hard work and sacrifices have paid off. Whatever little memory we all take with us after high school, I hope that it is treasured, because now we go on to bigger and better things. Regardless of the path you choose to take, remember to always be happy and stay true to yourselves. When you go home tonight, Thank your family for helping you get to this point. Thank your friends for letting you copy their homework. <laughs> and thank all the people in your life that have helped make this night possible. In one week, we end a chapter in our lives and begin a new one. Before I end the speech, last but not least, I would like to thank our senior class sponsor, Mr. Costin, for dedicating most of his time these past four years. <laughs> But without you, Mr. Costin, all of our class events would have never happened and have been such a great success. And we all created so many wonderful memories. So, class of 2017, it has been an honor to stand before you knowing that we've made the most out of our time here at Choya. Here's wishing you the joy of discovery. Keep reaching, keep seeking, keep using your abilities to bring out the best in those around you and let them bring out the best in you. Become the next great generation. You can and you will, dare I say it, change the world. Thank you to everyone here and I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening tonight. Thank you.
enfermedad. Those are some good words. Your next um, classmate and peer, please be nice to him and remember him when he has like a big movie premiere because you might get some free tickets. I don't know. Hopefully you'll remember me. Um, we want to welcome Mr. Roberto Gonzalez. speech I'd like to uh, I'd like to thank all the teachers and faculty um, who have helped me along my journey and just uh, truly transcended um, the label of teacher and become my friends so um, shout out to them okay so hello and welcome I'm, I'm very happy to be here today alive and well and it also brings me happiness to see everyone here truly here before me are a group of students on the cusp of the next chapter. Many students will show up to school um, wearing a mask. They'll smile, they'll laugh, and they'll say, I'm fine. But deep down within, they're hurting. This generation faces great difficulty. We are pioneers living in a drastically, drastically different age than our parents. Sometimes challenges may leave you cornered with no one who understands or, or even notices. There are times when an individual is pushed to the brink. Your stress exceeds your ability to cope. This scenario takes on various different forms, but what is important to remember is in order to experience love, one must be alive. In order to experience freedom, serenity, and compassion, one must have a beating heart. Keep your hearts beating, even if it seems like a never-ending hell. Hold on to your endeavors. Allow them to bring you up and push you through the pain. Don't abuse yourself as an outlet. Let go of your frustration by being involved in the arts and in activism. Don't allow yourself to be consumed by blackness. Get out and campaign for progress. Our world needs us, and it especially needs you. Every day, temperatures increase, sea levels rise, and animals reach the brink of extinction. You can find purpose in preventing the death of Mother Earth, because we are the last generation who can do so. Your peculiarity, your race, your gender, your sexual identity, are all things that make you beautiful. Beauty is not determined by preceding events or your background. Beauty is determined by your future, your actions now, and these, these things are what make you legendary. Thank you. I think you're ready for the Academy Awards. That's kind of like one of those speeches. Thank you, Mijo. And next, um, the senior class chose a Teacher of the Year. Every year they, they uh, get a chance to choose someone that they have admired and looked up to for four years. This year they chose Mr. George Para. He unfortunately could not be here with you, but he did send a message with Mr. Costin. Is Mr. Costin here? I can't see. Yes, I'm here. I heard. Yes. <laughs> class of 2017 for asking Mr. Pada to speak to you. Uh, I talked to him at length yesterday. He told me what he wanted to say, and he told me to tell you what I really feel. So I'm going to tell you what I really feel tonight. First of all, I want to thank 
some of the people that made it possible for you all to be here tonight. I'd like to thank Ms. Kalal. Ms. Mady. Mr. Goulet. Mr. Lowe, Mr. Amenta, Mr. Rousseau, all of your counselors here. The monitors that help you every day, all your teachers, all the staff here, and everyone else that helps you here every day to help you get to the point where you are tonight. So Mr. Prada asked me to give my best advice to you tonight, and here's my best advice. I want you to listen. You're missing so much of what people have to offer you, so unplug the earbuds, take your eyes off your screen, pause whatever you're thinking or you're doing, and just listen. The other stuff can wait. The thing I keep hearing people say about Choya is that it's like family. And for me that means I try to listen to you, my family at Choya, and when I listen I hear your stories. And then I understand what you need and what, can I, what I can help you with. Like the young man in my yearbook class. The one that never did his page work, but when I listened to him, I learned about the things he could do well, and together we found a way for him to take part in the class. We built a relationship on mutual trust and mutual respect. So I don't know about that, because I'm still waiting for you to call me Mr. Costin, and not by my first name. Where are you? Uh, you know who you are. Yeah. And the young man in my yearbook class uh, who walked in my room after spring break was someone from the office asking if I could help him with some credit recovery work. Well, I didn't know him, but I soon discovered what I got myself into because I had to keep constantly asking him to get back to work and to stop talking to all the young ladies in my classroom. <laughs> But I'm happy you proved a few of your doubters wrong. You know who you are. And because of you, I got to know Mr. Pines really well this year. <laughs> and for the senior student council members, those who worked on the yearbook for Troya, senior memory slideshow, I hope I listened to you enough. I hope I heard what you really wanted to say because when I didn't pay attention, one of you ordered 75 custom printed hoodies that I didn't know about till I got an angry call from Carla in the business office, wanting to know how those hoodies got there and why my name was on the bill. It all worked out okay. You guys really pulled it together every time you needed to pull it together. So my advice is, listen. I want you to really listen. Listen to your family, your friends, your teachers, your advisors, the principal and the system principals. Because when you listen, you can build relationships. You create family. And you're going to need family. Here's a quote that I like that I saw on a bumper sticker a few years ago. It's not about the major or the job. It's about the experience and who you know and how you treat them. So I'm proud to be part of the class of 2017 because I'm part of your family. Thank you. I don't know if some of you should go say I'm sorry or thank you or both and bring them chocolate. Okay? All right, so let's get started with the awards. Yes. I'd like to welcome up on stage uh, Ms. Linda Harris from the University of Arizona who will present our Wellcat Awards. Good evening, everyone. How are we all doing? All right. My name is Linda Harrison, and I'm so honored to be here representing the University of Arizona as an alumnus. Now, before I get started, there's one thing I want you to do for me. When I say education, 
I want you to say enthusiasm. Education. Come on, that was lame. One more time, and I want you to say it with that wildcat spirit and passion. Education. All right, that's what I want to hear. Now, great job. Now, uh, again, my name is Linda Harrison, and I'm so proud. I'm proud of all of you. I want to cry, okay? All right. Now, the University of Arizona is committed to uh, rewarding those students who challenge themselves academically and who demonstrated uh, leadership involvement. And to the class of 2017, Choya Chargers, you just rock. You are just simply awesome, all right? Okay. And one other thing I want you to do, because you rock, I want you to stand up and give your parents and your loved ones a big round of applause. Because without them, you wouldn't be here. Wildcat Excellence Award is Nafisa Hunter. Are you here? Nafisa. Okay, is she not here? All right. Our next recipient is Ileana Loya. once again. Our next recipient, Gianna Morales. Bear down. Congratulations, young lady. All right. Jimmy Guyan. Congratulations, bear down. Great job. Congratulations. Bear down. All right. Erica Mendoza.
Congratulations. Maxine Poussef. Maxine Poussef. Thank you. Congratulations. Bear down. All right. Give these young ladies and gentlemen a big round of applause. Bear down. Wish you the best of luck and join our Wildcat family. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Harrison, for spending time with us and giving our students lots of money. Next, um, we don't have the rep here from Arizona State, but this is my favorite male counselor, and he has a personal connection to Arizona State. His son just graduated two weeks ago? Last week. Last week from the U of A, so he's a proud daddy son devil. And this is Mr. Rick Valdez. You know, being uh, the only male counselor, that joke just doesn't get old every year. <laughs> but uh, let's, let me start off by saying uh, Arizona State University is proud to announce uh, the recipients of the following scholarships. University scholarship valued at $2,000 a year, Martin Calixtro, Jr. Mark Enriquez. Iliana L. Loya. Recipient of the Provost Scholarship valued at $8,000 a year is Maria J. Contreras Jimenez. Recipient of the President Scholarship valued at ten thousand dollars a year is Maxim Gusev. to sit down. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Valdez. And he is my favorite one, okay? The male one. Um, next, we have a great representative. I believe she's an alumni from Northern Arizona University. She has a great shirt on because I have that one too. I'd like to introduce Ms. Karen Flores, who will give us uh, lots of prizes for our students. I'm an alumnus of the NAU graduating class of 2012, and I'm honored to be joining you all um, and representing NAU tonight. Congratulations to all of you who are being recognized tonight and to the entire graduating class of 2017. Northern Arizona University recognizes students' academic successes through the awarding of three scholarships. The Dean's Scholarship, a $4,000 scholarship worth $16,000 over four years. The President's Scholarship, a $7,000 scholarship worth $28,000 over four years. And the Lumberjack Scholars Award, a full tuition scholarship covering tuition for four years of attendance. Overall, 19 students from Choya High School have earned a significant amount of scholarship money towards their education. And that reflects very highly on their academic achievements. These are the recipients of the Dean's Scholarship. Martin Calixtro, Jr.
Ariana Camacho. Jose Garcia. Roberto Gonzalez. Jared Prince. And the following students receive the President's Scholarship. Maria Contreras. Diana Morelos. Priscilla Peralta Rodriguez. <laughs> and the following students receive the Lumberjack Scholars Award. Kathleen Armenta. April Dorme Pesquero. Angelica Garcia Maldonado. Daniela Gracia Rios. Yes. Maxime Guse. Amanda Lopez Castillo. Nia, Nia Moran, <laughs> Angelica Noriega, <laughs> Jocelyn Noriega. Mark Ruedas. <laughs> Carlos Romo.
We wish you all the very best as you continue on your educational paths. And for those of you who are looking forward to joining us this fall in Flagstaff, go Lumberjacks! Thank you to Ms. Flores, and are you guys happy with that money? That's a lot, and it's pretty up there, so buy the coat, though it gets cold. Um, our next person, she's been our friend for like six years now, or seven years. We love her, she treats us great, and um, I'm, she's out of uniform today, so I almost didn't recognize her, but I love the hair. Miss uh, Megan Anderson is here from GCU, Grand Canyon University. Good evening. Thank you so much for having me. I am Megan Anderson, the representative for Choya for Grand Canyon University. I love coming to the school. It's always exciting. Students are awesome. And uh, GCU really is committed to excellence. We're striving to help students become global citizens, critical thinkers, effective communicators, and responsible leaders. By making a private education affordable, we create new opportunity, opportunities to elevate higher learning and contribute to the future. Tonight, GCU congratulates the class of 2017. Job well done. Thank you, parents, for your continued support. Seniors, we could not do it without Choya admin, faculty, and staff, so thank you all as well. GCU is all about finding your purpose. We are here to help students, assist students along the way, whatever their path may lead them. So if they're going to another university, if they're going into a job, if they're going into a tech school, if they're going into whatever their path may lead them to, I hope that um, this year I could assist them in one way or another. Each year we offer different academic scholarships and grants. This year's scholarships were based on a cumulative GPA, ACT, or SAT score. We look comprehensively at all three areas, but students are not required to submit all three areas. We are also giving a $1,000 scholarship, technically grant, to each student that is attending GCU this year as well. We have a partnership with TUSD. So, let's give out some of our academic awards here. Um, the Antelope Scholarship for us is our first award of the night. The Antelope Scholarship is based on either a 3.0 GPA, a 19 on the student's ACT score, or a 1,000 on the SAT. This is $3,750, totaling $15,000 over four years. Students are not locked into this amount for all four years, so they can continue to move up and get more scholarships each year. Our Antelope Scholarship recipients are... Hector Nunez, Sonia Grego,
Brianna Kendrick Perez. Laura Tai, Steven Blanco, the faculty scholarship this year is based on a 3.3 GPA, a 22 on the ACT, or an 1130 on the SAT. These students are receiving $4,750 per year for a total of $19,000 for four years. Again, they can also increase their scholarship. The first recipient is Michelle Valenzuela. Ayana Chavez. <laughs> Edith Valenzuela. Trayvon Nelson. Yeah. Isela Aguilar. Yesenia Nino. John Paz. per year for a 3.5, a 24, and 1170, with a total of 23,000 23, for four years. The next is Ariana Camacho. Daniela Gracia Rios. Martin Calixtro Jr. <laughs> Brittany Olivares. Provost Scholarship. This is based on a 
3.7 GPA, 27 on the ACT, or 1295 on the SAT, worth $27,000 for four years. This is worth $6,750 per year. First recipient, April Dorme Pesquiera. Eliana Loya. Marisol Lerma. Paula Yaquez. Maria Lieva Barcelo. Jocelyn Noriega. Priscilla Peralta Rodriguez. Scholarship worth $7,750 per year is students with a 3.9 GPA, 31 on the ACT, 1410 on the SAT, worth $31,000 for four years. The first recipient, Norma Valenzuela. <laughs> Maria Contreras. Jennifer Mercado. Congratulations, class of 2017. Thank you, Megan. We love you, and we love the money, too. But we love her more, because she treats us really well. Next, we have one of my dearest, oldest friends from Pima Community College. This guy, you have to get to know him if you don't know him, because he could take you many places. It's Mr. Sean Graham. Thank you, thank you. 
Man, this is a fun year at Choya. I actually got to hang out all year. I did office hours here. So I had fun hanging out during lunch, you know, hearing Gabi stress out over yearbook and tonight's senior slideshow. I think, uh, Roberto, you broke your cologne, right? We found a piece of that like a month later. Was it you that did that, I think? Larry, we chatted about sports. And we had fun and uh, harassed Officer Fig, of course, all the time. So I just want to say uh, it was a fun time. And like Megan mentioned earlier, uh, Pima Community College, we're here to get you to the next level, whether that be coming to Pima or not. I know I worked with you. I think Keanu, Keanu, we chopped it up about how I bared down when I went to U of A. I think you're on your way there. So we don't just help students that come to Pima. If you do, we're there for you. We help you just get to that next level. So very, very proud of each and every one of you. And I'm honored to be here tonight to uh, recognize our Pima Merit Scholars. So our scholarship is offered to the top students in the Pima County area, top graduating seniors who have a 3.0 or above. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the list. And our first recipient for tonight, Jennifer Mercado. Stephanie Haros. Eliana Loya. Erica Mendoza. Carlos Romo. Mark Ruedas Jr. Angelica Garcia Madonado. Kathleen Armenta. I'm fist bumping, sorry, just to make it quicker. Eileen Barrios. Maria Contreras Jimenez. April Dorarme Pesquera. Brandy Frajo Rivera. Keanu Giesen. <laughs> Ma 
Maxon Goosey. Jeanette Gonzalez. Paula Hakes Ruiz. Larry LeCount Jr. Larry needs water. Anyone have water? Maria Yulisa Leiva Barcelo. Amanda Lopez. <laughs> Diana Mireles. Nia Moran is not here. Angelica Noriega. Jocelyn Noriega Silvas. Priscilla Peralta Rodriguez. <laughs> Jesse Sanchez. Paulina Torres Macias. Norma Valenzuela. Andres Vasquez. Andres, where are you at? Are you coming? All right, man. The pole party's not gonna start till we're out of here. You gotta come. So once again, I'm very proud to be working with all these Troy Chargers all year. Uh, we stuffed some of you in a bus. Here's Andreas. Give it up for Andreas. We stuffed some of you in the bus, brought you to campus, fed you some greasy pizza, but we had a good time, right? And I had a good time hanging out with you all in the College and Career Center here at Choya High. Good luck in your futures. Go Charger Blue! Thank you, Sean. We love you, too. And he, like, outdid himself with Pima this year. I'm glad he's our rep because, um, yeah, he's the best. He's Mr. Pima, if you if you ever get there. Um, next, again, Mr. Rick Valdez, my favorite male counselor.
Benedictine University at Mesa is proud to announce the recipients of their presidential scholarship, and they are Kathleen A. Armenta, and Brenda Lusania. Eastern Arizona College is proud to announce the recipient of their alumni scholarship, and that is Mark S. Ruedas. this. And next we have um, a lady who is very near and dear to Choya. She has a story to tell you and she's here to present the Elisa Gastelum Scholarship, Mrs. Gastelum. Good evening everybody. Um, my name is Terry Gastelum, and I'm here to represent the Elisa Gastelum Memorial Foundation um, that we <laughs> named after, of course, our daughter Elisa Gastelum, who graduated here from Choya in 2005. And Elisa was uh, very involved with mariachi here, and she was in the Botrillos and also in a local group. And she also won, uh, got to participate in Florida. Uh, in a big event at Disney World and came in as runner-up of her 500 entrants. So she had a lot of talent. We were very proud of her. Um, tonight we're here, since she passed away, we formed her foundation and we have been giving a scholarship here at Choya every year to a graduating senior that has also has a passion for mariachi as Elisa did. And uh, this year it's going to be really, it's just a very special recipient that we're going to give the award to because it has meaning behind it. Um, Elisa was actually inspired by this young lady's mother who has a beautiful voice and is very well known here in Tucson and throughout the United States for her mariachi music. And um, it was um, because of Elisa being inspired by this young lady's mother, she wanted to get involved in mariachi. and. So we would give, we would take her to her house and she would take violin lessons and voice lessons from uh, Monica Trevino. And her daughter is uh, going to be the recipient this year and also her father was a big influence too, who is a great composer, a great musician in his own right in Mariachi Music Group in Loya. So this is just a very special uh, scholarship that we are giving out today. Um, in honor of Elisa to keep her memory alive. So we would like to rep give this to Ileana Loya. decided to join our military forces and yes and it's kind of like I love watching them talk to the recruiters but then I look at them and I'm like they're babies you know you guys are babies so um, we have our very wonderful Marine Corps Sergeant Sergeant McCain who will present the Marine Corps Awards. Oh, 
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Real quick before I get started, I just want to thank all the faculty and all the support system for all these students and, all, and just congratulate you guys on your accomplishments. Nobody accomplishes anything on their own. And it's just warms my heart that, that students are still putting forth the effort to try and uh, you know, exceed the minimum standard. It really, it really makes me uh, think that the future is bright. So not just the ones that I'm working with, but people that are independently working to be successful. So round of applause for everyone up here. And for everyone up here to I'm going to throw in my cheaters, even though it ruins the uniform. But. So, I'm the Marine Corps representative for the school, and I'm here on behalf of the Commandant of the Marine Corps. I'm here to present three different awards separately from the people that are enlisting. First award is a Scholastic Excellence Award, second is Distinguished Athlete, and third is for Musical Excellence. Scholastic Excellence Award for academic, excuse me, academic Achievement recognizes students who go the extra mile with their studies, both in and out of the classroom. To be eligible for this award, the student must be a distinguished, scho distinguished scholar, a leader among peers, and be an outstanding young, young citizen. The students must also have shown determination and dedication throughout the school year towards achieving academic excellence. The, re the recipient of this year's Scholastic Excellence Award is Jeanette Gonzalez. <laughs> Second award that I'm here to present is the Semper Fidelis Award for Musical Excellence. The Marine Band has a long-standing tradition of musical excellence. It has been playing at White House engagement since 1801 and is referred to as the President's Own. John Philip Sousa, while director of the band in 1881, wrote the march Semper Fidelis. Semper Fidelis is Latin for always faithful. The march was dedicated to those who inspired it, the fighting men of the United States Marine Corps, and subsequently gained recognition as the official march of the U.S. Marines. It is with this prestigious musical history that the U.S. Marine Corps presents such an award to students who meet the following requirements. Students must have held first chair in the band or be recognized as an outstanding musical performer, as well as be a leader among peers. The recipient of this year's Semper Fidelis Award for Musical Excellence is Becca Soto. The final award I'd like to present is the Distinguished Athlete Award. For more than 200 years, Marines have been recognized as a force in readiness. Being ready means you have to be in top physical condition. Consequently, fitness is a hallmark of Marines. Additionally, the recipient of this award not only represents a student that is a superior athlete, but represents one that has been recognized as an exemplary young citizen and a role model for younger students. The student must have also exhibited personal traits of courage, poise, and self-confidence, as well as leadership while performing as a varsity athlete. The same traits we look for in every Marine. The recipient of this year's Distinguished Athlete Award is Mark Ruelas. Lastly, I want to recognize Leo Montijo. I can... But certainly not least, I could talk for how much money he's going to get for school and the fact that he's going to be an electrician working with avionics and have an extremely successful career in the Marine Corps, but I'd like to talk more about his path to self-improvement. When we first got him, he was nervous, skinny, not that he's not still skinny, and uh, he already had the deep voice, but uh, he, he, he lacked a lot of self-confidence, and that's something that uh, he's really built upon, to not only become an outstanding performer within our lead entry program, and honestly, to basically show all the traits of a good leader. Um, I'm, I'm absolutely astounded with the, the transformation he's made, and I look forward to uh, shaking his hand once he comes back wearing this uniform. So, round of applause for Leo Martino.
Sergeant McCain, you've taught him well. He already stands like a Marine. Congratulations, Leo. And thank you, Sergeant McCain. Next, I'd like to welcome someone... Yeah, we talk like this. Someone who um, is passionate about our students and always is there to help them. Um, he may not have recruited the student, but he is a team player. Sergeant Colón Mateo from the U.S. Army. Good evening, class of 2017. Stand up for a minute. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Come on. Come on. Okay, thank you very much. The first part of my uh, comments, and, and thank you very much for the invitation, the first part of my comments this evening are to the parents. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I've been recruiting for over 15 years, and this is what you hear. Ring, ring, ring. Hi, good evening. This is Sergeant Clover of the United States Army. Oh, hello. <laughs> is, is Johnny home? No. Okay. Uh, can I leave a... Yeah. Thank you. Have a good evening. All right. That's a lot of fun. We do it. There is 1% of the United States population that takes care of the rest of us. And tonight we did some of the math with the Navy and the Marines and myself, and Choya has exceeded that by 0.5. There are actually five students at this high school that have volunteered for the United States Military Service. Yes, ma'am. There's an old saying that says, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And these young men and women have proven themselves to be excellent students. And I've got teachers ready at basic training to take care of them. I have two soldiers recognized this evening. One cannot be with us. And the second, I will call him up first. So David Del Gadillo, please come here. Private, move it. Left, 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 left. Get up here. <laughs> they can sit down. So uh, I'm going to let you know about uh, one young man, David Dunan Pierce. First, he is a unmanned vehicle operator. He was going to go to basic training at Fort Sill, Oklahoma, and then go to Fort Huachuca, Arizona, and learn how to do this. And it's a really cool job. Uh, but he could not be here with us this evening, so I am going to tell you about David. David is... Wow. He's quite a work. And we've got a lot of work to do, but we're going to have fun together. David has volunteered to be a signal support specialist with the United States Army. He will receive, upon finishing his basic training, a $13,000 bonus, which is great. That's unfortunately tax deduct. You know, you got to Uncle Sam pay his due. But think of it this way: that's still uh, eight, eight and a half. It's not bad. That's a new car. Yeah. All right. So after that, David will be going to na, 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 Fort, oh yes, Fort Jackson, South Carolina for training, Fort, Fort Georgia, and then we're not sure where he's going to end up after that, he's going to have some fun. But it is my pleasure to present him with his educational check, which is fortunately at any school you are eligible to attend or are accepted to attend. And with the military, that's uh, a very nice thing because you may move around and go, you know what? I want to get to this college, and these are the interest requirements. We're going to pay you $4,000 a year while you're in the military to go and attend classes, and then you can go to that university, work on your master's, bachelor's, doctorate, anything you'd like. And with a check in your back pocket of $149,000, $588, I think you can do it. Thank you very much, and congratulations.
Thank you, Sergeant Colon Mateo. Now, how many of you want to be David's friends? <laughs> yeah. Maybe he'll buy us a bag of chips out of the machines. I don't know. Congratulations, David. Next, we have another um, part of our military. We have Petty Officer Jeffrey Luna from the U.S. Navy, who is here to present to his future sailors. I'm about to sing like like it's this is American Idol or something. It's awful. I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna torture you with that. So my name is Jeffrey Luna. I'm with the U.S. Navy. Go Navy, beat Army. Where did Sergeant Colonel Mateo go? I don't say beat Marines because we're on the same team actually. I'm just gonna talk to you quickly about myself. I've been in the Navy for 16 years. I joined as a 17 year old right out of high school. I have been accepted into college into civil engineering school in the University of Puerto Rico. Yo hablo español clarito, si ustedes me entienden, yo hablo español también, all right? So, the Navy taught me how to be a linguist. But this guy who grew up picking coffee grains and, and cutting down sugar canes, I got the chance, right out of high school, to go to the Navy and learn a different language. Now, the, th the interesting thing is that I had a full ride scholarship to civil engineering school where NASA can go, I have seven friends who currently work for NASA, because out of that engineering school, they go hand selected. So it wasn't my last option. The reason I did it is because I finished my bachelor's degree in two and a half years. I got 30 credits for knowing Spanish. I took a test. 30 credits, that's worth one year of college. I got 30 credits for learning Hebrew. Anime da veri brujim habaim lekol. So I said, I speak Hebrew, welcome to all of you. The Navy taught me Hebrew, another 30 credits. Then I went to top secret training, I got another 30 credits, which is 90 credits, in less, in a year and a half. And by the time I finished all my training, I made it to Rota, Spain, at 20 years old, single and fluent in Spanish. I walked into the counselor's office, Navy counselor's office, and I said, how far am I away from my associates? I hadn't stepped foot in college. They said, you're 17 credits away from your bachelor's degree. I never, I didn't want to go to college. I had said, I don't want to go to civil engineering school. But you know what? I was actually able to do both things. Study and work and get paid pretty much to go to college. And there's two young men this morning that I want to, uh, this evening, excuse me, that I want to recognize. One of them, his name is Ruben, Ruben Darío Molina Herrera. All right? Please come up to the stage. And also, Brandon Reeder, please come up here. Give it up, give it up for these two young men. So I want to talk specifically about these two young men really quickly. Brandon Reeder wanted to join the Army and then he realized that, I'm joking, I'm, joking. I don't, I'm not going to talk bad about Sergeant Colón Mateo, he's awesome in the Army and the Marines, we're all brothers in arms, right? We all have friendly competitions and stuff like that. But in reality, well, Brandon made the decision to join the Navy. He wanted to be in the computer fields, and that's exactly what he's going to be. He's gonna be an information systems technology uh, specialist, and he'll be working on submarines. It's, uh, some of you may not want to be on submarines, he volunteered to do that, he's brave. We had a president say, don't ask what, what your country can do for you, as President Kennedy, ask what you can do for your country. And that's what this young man is, is, is doing. So I want to please, please big round of applause for him. And, and Ruben, I did a presentation in his class, in Ms. Jandali's class in Arabic. He filled out his survey and he said, I don't consider myself a military person, but I respect everybody who is. I have other plans. Today, when he learned that in the Navy you can actually be a journalist, he actually became really interested. But then he wised up and he said, I want a $10,000 bonus, I want to be a linguist like you, so he's actually going to go to Monterey, California and learn another language. Big round of applause for him. All right. cool. 
This is for you guys. It's a big check. It says $100,000. So, Ruben is getting $10,000 bonus for having signed up to be a cryptological technician interpretive, which is a linguist. And they're both eligible for $90,000 worth of college. That's the post 9-11 GI Bill. Every, any branch of service, Marine, Army, Air Force, Coast Guard, you're eligible for the post 9-11 GI Bill as long as you have served three years. So those of you who got like 4.0s and got like $30,000, $40,000 for college, congratulations. But you can also, if, even if you don't have a 4.0, you can get this amount as well. Because in the military, we want you to also get your education and study and become a professional, right? So round of applause for these two young men. And somebody please help us take pictures. Officer Luna, and you know, there's a will, there's a way. We can all graduate college in two years, but that's kind of hard. Congratulations, Brandon and Ruben. Okay, next we are going to have our next presenter. Um, she is a representative that will um, give something to our students. I want to introduce Ms. Leslie Pintor. On behalf of the Arizona State Chapter of the PEO Sisterhood, I am here to present the Elizabeth LaForce Scholarship. The PEO Sisterhood supports and assists women in their educational pursuits with scholarships and low interest loans. This particular scholarship is awarded to exceptional young women who meet high standards in the area of areas of academics, leadership, citizenship, and volunteer work as well as financial need, who have applied and been accepted at Cotty College. Cotty College is a four-year women's liberal arts college located in Nevada, Missouri, which is owned and operated by women and is well known nationally for its high academic standards. This award will be directly applied toward tuition for the academic year of 2017-2018. It gives me great pleasure to announce the recipient of this scholarship from Troya High School, who is a senior and was sponsored by Chapter ANPEO, a local chapter organization in this community. This student is Lauren Izzy Hernandez. for taking time to be with us and congratulations. I think you're a little excited, huh, Mija? Yeah? <laughs> she's going away to college, so she's so happy. Congratulations. Next, he's my favorite social worker at Choya. <laughs> he's been here and you guys all love him, admit it. Mr. Wonderlick. So Choya has been partnering with a, a partnering with a, uh, two community service agencies in town for many years right now, and uh, what they do is they honor students who not only have achieved but have overcome obstacles to uh, reach their goals. And so what we wanted to do tonight is we wanted to present them in front of all their peers and their family. So the first uh, organization is called the Santa Ver Kiwanis Club. 
And uh, the first person we'd like to honor is Ryan Simpson. Crystal Gutierrez. She's in the audience, I think. Crystal and Ryan were honored as Students of the Month. We also have the Student of the Year here, and that is Jessica Morales. <laughs> the other organization is called the Santa Rita Exchange Club. And uh, they also have several students of the month. The first one is Brandon Reeder. <laughs> Next is Angelica Lopez. Once again, we have Jessica Morales. Our next winner was Rebecca Soto. Our next uh, person was Monica Silvas. And next, Janelle Montes. But not least, we have our Santa Rita Exchange Student of the Year. And uh, this has uh, been even a more special award. Uh, this student not only won the, uh, the Choya Award, but he has won the District Award, which includes all of New Mexico, Arizona, and the Southwest of Texas. Next month, he's going to go to El Paso, and he's going to get a chance to compete for the National Santa Rita Exchange Award. And it's Brandon Reeder. We also have an award, uh, it's called the Advanced Community Transition Service Learning Program, and the winner of this award is Thomas Cordoba.
And then we have an award called the Project Search University of Arizona Award, and the winner is Andres Gonzalez. Congratulations, Andres. Good job, Ivo. Next is my partner in crime for like oh, two months, three months out of the year. Oh, wait, we're just testing queens throughout the year. That's all we seem to do. Is uh, my favorite uh, counselor from A through F, Miss Sosi. Good evening. Tonight I will be presenting the University of Arizona Hispanic Alumni Scholarship. And this award goes to Carlos Romo. from the Fleming and Curdi PLC Carey Trust Scholarship. This award goes to Delia Ramirez. Administrative Service Corporation Scholarship. This award goes to Caroline Farkas. Is Caroline here tonight? All right. Oh, okay. All right, our next scholarship award is for um, a program called the Always Up Foundation Scholarship Award. The first award will go to Kathleen Armenta. The same award also goes to Jennifer Mercado. All right, the next set of awards are the Lapan College Club Scholarships. The first award goes to Kathleen Armenta. Next, the same student or the same award also goes to Martin Calixtro. And the same award also goes to Jennifer Mercado. Achievers Scholarship. This goes to Kathleen Armenta. Wait, let me introduce you. This is like an awards academy or something. Let me introduce you. Okay, next. She is someone you need to get to know. Miss Shepherd Mady. She's like, she has some good jokes. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Cabral. Before
before we move on with the, with the rest of our awards, I just want to take a pause for a moment and recognize a special charger that's in the audience. And if you're an IV student, you'll know who this special person is. She's been a mentor to you. She's been a cheerleader to you. And some of you have had her as a teacher. And some of you even consider her your second mom here at school. Let's take a moment and give it up for Ms. Jensen. for everything you do for our IB students and all the chargers here at Choya. And I know Ms. Jensen's sitting over there going, Mady, why are you talking about me? Will you talk about my kids? And this is what she'd want to say. Class of 2017, you need to know that this year you had 84 IB candidates in your class. Who, yeah, give it up to all the IB students. And these students, these students took 579 IB exams over 11 days. They took a total of 1,246 IB assessments over two years. Let's give it up to our IB students, our IB coordinator, and all the students at Choi. Okay, uh, I have a few awards here, and we have Kathleen Aramenta here. Um, I have a little story I want to tell you about Kathleen. Um, I think it was, it was my first year, because she was at the end of her sophomore year, and she probably doesn't remember this. School had just finished, and I was walking up from the cafeteria towards the admin building, and she, I don't remember the question she asked me, but I had something to do with the College and Career Center. And I said, well, what are you looking for? And she goes, well, I'm going to start researching scholarships. Well, she did a great job. Here she is two years later, and we're going to tell you some of the additional awards that she's receiving tonight. Next award for Kathleen, the Worth and Dot Howard Foundation Scholarship. For Kathleen Armenta, Dell Scholars Program Scholarship. Congratulations. Kathleen is also receiving the Horatio Alger Scholarship Award. Once again, Kathleen, congratulations. Hispanic Heritage Youth Awards. Kathleen is receiving the Burger King Scholars Program. I'm telling you, she did her research. She's also receiving from the Arizona Alps Association the Most Valuable Student Scholarship. And from the Alps Club Lodge number 385, they have their own special scholarship and that's also going to Kathleen. And the last one I have here for Kathleen is Wendy's High School Heisman School Award. Let's give it up for Kathleen and all of her hard work. Thank you, Kathleen. Thank you, Ms. Mady, and congratulations, Kathleen. There's still more to come, huh? Now, okay, here it comes. This is what we do every year. She is like a sister, and I love her so much, Ms. Rashada Jeffrey. Scholarship goes to Paola Reese Jacques Jacques Hopkins. Hopkins. Okay. 
So, I have to say that this year, you guys gave me quite the run for my money this year. So, I'm glad that I was able to be a part of this class, as it'll be my last class here at Choya. So, hi Kaylin, I see you. So let me go on with my next awards, but you guys are all awesome. You guys are very good kids. Parents, you have great kids down here. Thanks for entrusting all of us with your students. It was very fun this year. So next up we have a legacy of excellence to college scholarship. So this student here holds a very special place in my heart. We bonded a little bit last year. He had like a serious knee injury. And if anybody has been in my office, everyone knows I keep one of my knee replacements in my drawer and I've showed it to people. So we bonded over that and I'm glad he overcame that because he is just an awesome, he's just an awesome guy. So you got the Legacy of Excellent College College Scholarship. Yay! So next up, Larry also received the Mesh Clark Rothschilds Award. He also received the Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Award. And he got the TUSD Scholar Athlete of the Year Award. So, Larry LeCount, I'm very proud of you. Good luck next year at Western New Mexico University. And I have to give a shout out too to my other child, Kaylin Tippins over there, Derek Raglin, Esteban Pacheco, Christian Robinson, Lissa, all of you guys. So thank you very much for letting me be a part of your four-year journey in high school, and good luck next year. Okay, I have another one. This is my oh, emotional names. So I want to call D. Parks up here, DeAndre Parks. Parks, we know that dancing is his life. Can you bust a move in there real quick? Let's do something real quick. Let's do it. Let's do it. Scholarship. Okay, that's enough of all that. Okay. Thanks for letting me work with you guys this year. It's been awesome. anywhere. <laughs> and it's always a party at Choya. Thank you. Thank you, Rashada, and congratulations, Larry and DeAndre. Larry, someday this week at Chimichanga, okay, mijo? Sure. I'm Mama Cabral. I don't know who's going to hug me next year as they're walking by my office, so I'm going to miss that. Next, we have a lady who loves her students and loves the school. And she's 100% Choya. Miss Bullet. <laughs> All right, our first award that we're going to be sh 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 shifting gears a little bit. We're going to go to our TUSD African American Awards, the BLM Scholarship, and that's going to go to Chazon Tyree. <laughs>
right, our next award, Students with Heart Foundation Scholarship Award is presented to Melissa Alcantar. All right, our next award is presented from TUSD. It's an athlete award, and it's called the TUSD Athlete Award, Athlon Physical Therapy Scholar Athlete Award, the Southwest Roadrunner Scholarship to Priscilla Peralta Rodriguez. Okay. Our next set of scholarships are for out-of-state colleges. And many of these students have been presented with very generous offers. We're going to start with a major college. Some of you don't know what college that is and might not even know how to pronounce it. I just learned it tonight. And it goes to Bowdoin College for Kathleen Armenta. Don't go anywhere, Kathleen. Don't go anywhere. Come on back. There you go. Our next college is Co College, the Impact Award, and that also is presented to Kathleen Armenta. The same award for Co College, the Impact Award, is also presented to Jeanette Gonzalez. Okay, um, next up we have from Trinity College, the 1823 scholar, Kathleen Armenta. All right, and next up, this is pronounced Cotty College, and it is Cotty College Scholarship, and it is also presented to Lauren Hernandez. Thank you, Kathleen. Okay, this scholarship comes from the University of Portland. It's the President's Scholarship. It's presented to Deanna Medeas. Awards tonight, Mr. Russell. All right, good evening, Chargers. Let's go. Let's rock 2017. Now, I just I want to thank 
if you would just thank all the counselors, would you give them a hand, please? All the counselors. This is going to be the last piece, but this is going to be about student athletes. And before I get into that, I really want to have Ms. Jeffrey come up here and hand these out with me, would you please? Because um, on a serious note, um, I think there's only two people at the school right now that have participated in Division I athletics, that's Ms. Jeffrey and myself. But um, so Ms. Jeffrey, I want to I share this, that uh, she's probably, uh, you know, I'm not jealous, but I'm a little jealous because she also, a few years ago, was inducted to the Tucson Hall of Fame. Would you give her a hand as I play? So she's definitely one of our All-Americans, but we're going to get through, and we're going to go with this next student, Kansas University to Rock Chalk Scholarship, Jaron Prince. Also... The, the Wartburn College Regent Scholarship, Jaron Prince. The Central Christian College of Kansas Academic Scholarship, Jaron Prince. I started out with the Ducks University of Oregon Academic Scholarship, Jaron Prince. The University of New Mexico Academic Scholarship, Aileen Sacido. The next young lady, she's one of our premier athletes. She's going to heal up and do great things. She's going to Lesson College, softball scholarship. Armida Perez! Also, South Mountain Community College Scholarship, Amina Perez! And the Olivet Nazarene University, Camarina Ballon. She also received the North Park University Scholarship. Give her a hand, would you please? Oh, they asked me to sing, I guess he was just playing. Oh, here you go. No. Wait, I got a shout out too, sorry. Jaren, and Trey, and who else did I miss? Chez, Allison, Mr. Armenta, I don't want, George Joe. Okay, there. Everybody, all the homies. Cause I will love, oh, I'm just playing. <laughs> I just don't know what to say. We've come to the end of the program.